Hey guys, what's up? Lord Meacher again here, your Lord of Video Games, and welcome to another episode of Persona 5 Royal. In the last episode, we started a new palace. Uh, if you guys haven't checked it out, you're getting a little bit of a spoiler in the top right screen. <laughs> Things are very weird here, and uh, yeah, we have a very difficult decision to make now. So... That's what we are going to be doing. So, without any... Oh. Well, anything, let's just go, I guess, this way. I can't teleport. Why? Okay. Huh. Wish I could. Makes it a lot easier. Okay, so it's telling me where to go. Okay, uh, we're going this way. Alright, so, oh, this is the underground mall. Yeah. Check up on teammates. So the first one we're checking up uh, is on, on, yes. Okay, so... Let's get it started. This is the new semester, by the way. Real? Oh my god, you did it, Shiho. I knew you could. It's all thanks to you supporting me, On. I really appreciate it. I don't remember what voice I had at the beginning, but we're going with this one. Ah, I'm not the one who deserves the credit. You kept up your best effort, and now you're finally being recognized. Hmm? Michu, I can't believe it. Over here! Hey, what's up, girls? Talk about coincidence. It's been a while since the last time you saw Shiho, right? Yeah. Um. Long time no see, Miyake-kun. Do you remember me? How have you been? Of course I have. Yeah. I've been well. Thank you for asking. I'm surprised you remembered, though. We didn't even get to talk too much since I transferred to another school so early in the semester. Of course he remembers you. He has to remember. What would the bragging I've told them all about how amazing my BFF is at volleyball? Oh, oh Han. Sorry to have put you put up with that Miyake-kun. Um. She was the MVP at the big meet the other day too. Not only was she the starting lineup, but she scored more points than anybody else. No wonder she's the star of the team. I'm so proud of you, Shio. Jeez. Uh -huh. You're too much. The two of them are beaming with joy. It seems this reality is the one that Ahn wished for. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, Shio's coming back to our school. Everyone in volleyball knows that she is the top school when it comes to the sport. That's how I was able to convince my parents to let me transfer back. After more than a little begging. I was so sad when she transferred her parents' jobs, but all's well that ends well. I feel like everything's just perfect. Is that everything you wished for? Mm hmm? Huh? What I wished for? Well, I guess you could say so. Do you prefer things this way? This way? I mean, both you and she are here and everything's going great. It's definitely better than the alternative, like when we... Wait, huh? I... But, but... Something is... I remember being so cornered that I just wanted to die, but then I met everyone and... I'll be waiting for you. Um... What does that... She was still alive after all the things that made her want to die. You have no right to run from this. Huh? I just... On? What's wrong? Are you okay? Oh, um, I'm fine. But I think I'm just feeling a bit tired. 
Why don't we go find some place to sit and relax for a bit? Sorry. Sorry, Mitru. I'll call you later. Bye. See you, Miyaki Kun. Seems all I can do now is wait. I guess I should head home. Wow. It's evening. I seem happy to be with Shiho, who is able to continue playing volleyball. But is this truly how things should be? I should check up on the other members tomorrow. This is making me think. Anon, help me. There has to be someone I haven't checked up on yet. Everyone. I should go see them. Alright. Who's next? Who is going to tell me to go next? Morgana is here. Maybe he knows where everyone else is. I'll just follow the... Hey, Morgana. Hey, you have a minute? Hmm. Are you looking for someone? Haru. She was just thinking about setting up a shop in Kijijoji. She went to inspect the new location with the president. She sure looked happy. We're doing a bunch of busy work. Sorry, but is that all you need? I kind of want to be alone. Huh. So we're going with Haru now, right? Maybe I should head to Shibuya. Head for Shibuya? Shibuya. This is Shibuya. Hmm. Hey, did you hear? Oh, this way. Oh, someone is here. You skim No, it's on. I mean Makoto. Hey. Gross. Ah. Ah. Me true. What a coincidence. How's it going? We're just doing a bit of shopping. <laughs> what soon? We're gonna celebrate our dad receiving the Superintendent General Award. That's unbelievable. Come on, Makoto. You don't need to raise your voice over it. Remember Dad telling you earlier to just act like it's no big deal? I'm sorry, I couldn't help it. I'm just so thrilled for him. It's like he's finally getting the recognition that he deserves. You're correct. Well, I do feel the same way. So, what groceries do we need to pick up before we head home? I wonder what Ga Dad would like me to cook. I'm an eggplant miso soup for your birthday. Had fried mackerel on yours, right? I still remember how you pestered Dad about it until he cooked it for you. Hey, sis, I didn't pester him. He asked me what I wanted to eat for my birthday. <laughs> and two of them are beaming with joy. Since this is a reality one, the one that Makoto wished for. Hey. Oh, I just had an idea, Mitru. Would you like to join us for dinner tonight? Oh, I guess I don't know what we're having yet, though. Don't you think it's possible he already has plans by now? Look at you, little miss outgoing. Where'd this turnabout come, about, come from? Uh, oh, oh, no, no, that's not what this is. You seem very happy. Do you think? Uh, yes, you think so? Inside getting along? Has your dad been supportive? My dad? Of course. He's done such a great job as a single parent and. No, but. Wait. Something's wrong. Mom died, so dad raised us alone. And sis. I'll be waiting for you. Huh? Wait. What are you saying? I'll be okay. Finally found a place where I belong. Uh, I just... Makoto, 
What's wrong? Oh, no. I'm sorry. It's nothing. Sorry, Mitru. We have to. We have more shopping to do. See you later. <sighs> I'm sorry. Sorry about that. We'll chat again soon. Seems all I can do now is wait. Oh, I guess I should head home. This is rough. Everyone just seems so happy. They almost be bored as well. There's no pay, right? What? I'll give it a try for a day. Try on New Year's, but I don't have any wishes. Is my dog cute? I have a kimono and a ha hakama. Hey, didn't your dog... Oh, never mind. New Year's money? I'm gonna use it on mommy, of course. I need my teacher to look over my work soon. What about our confidants? And can I talk to Kawakami and everybody? I just seem happy being able to spend with both her father and sister. But is this truly how things should be? And check on the other members tomorrow. Ugh. This is a very hard decision. Alright, there has to be someone I haven't checked up on. I should go see them. Yes. Everybody. Well, almost everybody. Let's see where this leads me off today. It's the only way I can. Maybe I should head to Shibuya. Head for Shibuya, I guess. Is there anywhere else? This way. Where? Okay. I'm like looking at the map. I'm not even looking where I'm like, what I'm like doing. Should come the other way. Much easier. Okay, this way. And then up here. Station Square. I believe they're making us walk all this. Okay, let's go to a different area. Wow. Kiyabara. Uh. Who's here? Ryuji. Futaba. Kichi Joji. What's up in Kichi Joji? There. Alright, then let's go with Futaba. Let's go to Electric Town of Boogaloo. Thank you. Where is that little goober? There she is. Oh, her mom. Oh my god, this hurts. I don't want to tear anybody apart, but. Oh man. Whoa there, Futaba. I thought you just came here to buy a video game. But, but, can't you feel it? All the limited edition and the gaming gear. The stores fall for being a one-stop shopping emporium for gamers. So, mom? No, ma'am. Do you think I get supplemental grants with nothing but puppy dog eyes? Motion for additional funding denied. <laughs> The case was dismissed. Hmm? Meet you. Hey. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey. Look who stumbled into us. Come on, hurry up and pick something already. So I want to get to lunch after this, right? We can take him too now. Oh, <laughs> what a thoughtful gentleman. Hear that, Futaba? Soldier is going to treat us all to lunch. Hey, don't go putting words in my... Really? Then... Back to LeBlanc, people. It's curry time. Uh, you eat that all the time, though. That's because it's the best. You really can't get enough of that curry, can you, Futaba? I mean, she does have a point. Huh. <laughs> Thanks for the glowing review. 
Three of them are all smiling at each other. This is the reality. It's the one that Futaba wished for. Sounds good, Mitri. I know you know how awesome Sojiro's curry is. This is most Shira's dish. Of course, Sojiro and Mom work together to improve its flavor, you know? Mm. And. Isn't this like a beautiful dream? What's that supposed to mean? What are you getting at? Is it a dream? No, but... I'll be waiting for you. Huh? I still don't get it. Come on. Why won't you just tell me? Don't let those distorted lies deceive me anymore. <sighs> what was that? Are you alright? You're getting a bit weird. Could this be a case of raging hormones? <laughs> Look how serious they've both gotten. I'm okay! Yeah, it's nothing. Let's go, Bomb. The curry can't wait. Me too. Still got stuff to do, I assume. Well, see ya! And off she goes. Huh? Hey, Futaba, don't just take off like that. Oh, Time oh. to head home. Well, we're gonna head on back. Come by and grab some gut. For some grub, if you're done with whatever it is you're doing. <sighs> Seems all I can do now is wait. Oh my lord. Do I really want to do this? I should. I guess I should head home. Bro, this is hard. It's harsh. Work? I have a day off today. Can't be feeling sick when I get a promotion. I remember having fancy clothes like this, it's like they're from a night job. Huh? You're not an employee here? Come on, I know you were working here last year. Let's take it easy instead of going crazy trying to hit our quota. Huh? Going to work? I thought you quit. Well, those are a lot of people that are like in the dreams. But I was seen happy being able to Spent her daily life with both her mother and Sojiro, who she loves very much. But is this truly how things should be? Let's check up on the other members tomorrow. Oh, this is... This is rough. It's snowing today. There has to be someone I haven't checked up on yet. I should go see them. Alright. Then let's go. I need to keep talking to Morgana for members. Hey, you have yeah, a minute? something? Someone? Oh, okay. So it's the same thing. What? Oh, I missed it. No, I'm sorry. Never mind. You're heading out, right? Stay safe. Wait, let me talk again. Hey, you have a minute? Right. Mm. Hey, have you gotten shorter or something? I feel like I used to have to look up to you. Heading out, right? Stay safe. <sighs> You're getting there, Morgana. Sure, hit. Station platform. Now, where to? At least it's leading me there. This would be a lot faster if I didn't have to, like, go. Like these ways. Exactly. Wait. All right, let's go up. How Station Square. Cool. All right. Who now? Oh, Haru's here. Okay. Who's here? Yusuke. Mm. Let's go with our little goober hard. Where? Ah, oh, this way. Oh, there she. Oh. <sighs> wow. 
the amount of pedestrian traffic here is well within our threshold. This would make a fine location for a new store. Mm. Yes! I agree. The research says this community is most interested in high quality ingredients and a modern store design. Perhaps this location should focus more on organic products and simple but elegant interior. <clears throat> hey girl. Hi. Oh, hey girl, and hey, uh. Kumara-san. <sighs> oh, Mitri-kun. I didn't expect to run into you here. What are you up to? <laughs> I'm helping out my father today. You're here to inspect a potential site for a new company store. Is this a friend of yours? Yes, he's been a wonderful friend to me. He's an underclassman in my school. Oh, oh. To think you'd have a male friend, Haru. Are you truly just friends? Wait! Jeez, father! Don't jump to conclusions like that! <laughs> Calm down, Haru. I was merely teasing. But still, for such a man to appear in your life, make sure you tell me right away, understand? <laughs> oh, father, is that jealousy I'm detecting? Haru and her father are enjoying each other's company. Seems it's the reality one that Haru wished for. <sighs> it's been quite a while. Some time I last saw Haru like this. It must truly be a wonderful friend for her. Please, keep being as good as to her as you have been. After all, my daughter's happiness is my own happiness. Father. Oh, would you care to do something together, Michiru? We have a bit of free time, so we could grab a coffee or something. How's business? I'm not oh, so sure. I don't know all the details. I'm just helping out my father. He's been busy with the staff. He's been holding up their own end, but they're scouting new businesses out locations too. All in all, I'd like to think things are going quite well. Has your dream come true? My dream? Oh, no, I wouldn't call my life anything so drastic. After all, I've been so busy lately that I can barely handle what's on my plate, so... Um... Wait, I just... I'll be waiting for you. Hmm. Oh, 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 okay. What happiness can be found through profit gained by crush crushing the hearts of others? Excuse me? What? That just now. That was. Haru? What's the matter? Uh, nothing, father. Nothing really. You must be getting exhausted after all this survey. Why don't we take a break somewhere? My apologies for cutting this short. I do hope we'll have the time to speak more in the future. Until next time. Hmm. It seems... Seems all I can do now is wait. I guess I should, I should head home. Vegetation every year. It only goes with me, of course. Back home? Is there off to fulfill all your dreams? It's cool, huh? Must be real fun. And some friend too. Didn't that store go out of business? <sighs> Guess not. We don't have great sales, but it's fine for me. Hmm. I don't seem happy being able to talk to her father without fear. But is this truly how things should be? I'll check up on the other members tomorrow. Seventh. Hmm. There's to be someone I haven't checked up on yet. I should go see them. Alright. Let's go on to the next target. Is 
maybe this is the only way to go. I said for Shibuya. Same way. Oh. Exactly. Go up. This is a little bit annoying. This is the only thing. Cool. Alright, let's go. Who's here? Yuji. Yusuke. Let's chill with. Let's chill with. <coughs> yeah, let's go with Yusuke. I can see Yusuke at the distance. He seems to be viewing a painting. What should I do? Speak to him. Duh. Oh. What a what? coincidence. Ah, you came to me, Chiru. I was just about contacting you. Take a look. My brother's painting is finally receiving the public attention that it deserves. It's on display for this week only. So I'm glad we have this chance to view together. <laughs> I am truly blessed. I've waited so long to see this painting here. My drive to create a masterpiece of this caliber grows stronger every day. But thanks to my sensei's patronage, each day also brings me closer to painting such impactful work. Nothing in the world could make me happier than I am this moment. You're... who? Indeed. Well, my sensei of... of course, Madarami. Huh? Even after Mother's passing, Sensei never stopped advocating her work to the public. Not only that, he took me in and cared for me when I lost my only family. I truly cannot thank him enough. It's like, this is the reality, this is the one that Yusuke wished for. Ah, I just had a wonderful idea. Why don't you come join us for dinner? Sensei has been interested in meeting you. Don't worry, he'll even pay for the meal. Must everything be perfect? No. Oh, I wouldn't say that everything has to be perfect at all times, but what's this about all of a sudden? Sayuri looks great there. The Sayuri? That's not the painting's name. No, oh, wait. That seems... Something's not right. I'll be waiting for you. I... What is... Could I be making the same mistakes as I did before? To think that this painting was the source of Madarame's distorted desires. The only saving grace is that my mother won't know what uh, what transpired. Michiru, I... It's okay. My apologies. Actually, I'm sorry. But I'd like to be alone for now. It seems all I can do now is wait. I guess I should head home. Wow. Little sister's been telling me to fix her PC. She's always been the bossy type. Study abroad? No thanks. I'm having a great time here. You were gonna make cafe? Wow, I never would have guessed of you. Huh? Really? Is that the... It's the best job I've ever had. The store attendants here always been so friendly. Everyone's living a dream. You see, seem happy about his mother's work, Sayuri, being recognized as art, a work of art. But is this truly how things should be? I should check up on the other members tomorrow. <sighs> Last one is our boy Ryuji. There has to be someone I haven't checked up on yet. I should go see them. 
Well, let's go check out on our boy Ryuji. Head for Shibuya. Shibuya. This is Shibuya. I don't know why they don't let me like fast travel. At least I'm learning the map by now. By so many times I have to do this. So many times doing this and going through the same things. Kind of just memorize it. And then go around the corner. And here, let's go meet with Ryuji. Oh, there he is. Oh, he's with. Oh, he's with them. Whoa, 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 whoa! You mean you got scouted by that college? Whoa! By down, stupid. No, it's not for sure or nothing yet. Anyway, I'm just saying the school's got a word of something like that. Still, that rules. You have made it onto the podium at Nationals, too. I was worried about what would happen after you screwed up your knee, but glad you're about to bounce back. <coughs> no way, man. Oh, you're still jumping the gun with this. I'm just trying my best so I don't get laughed off by the team by you guys. And she's laughing happily with the other members of the track team. And that this is the reality is the one that Ryuji wished for. Hey, my man. Me mm -hmm. What are you doing here? It's still winter break. No, oh, maybe he stopped by to congratulate you too. Yeah, someone sure is popular. Is there anywhere you want to go eat after practice? It's our treat today. Ooh, that's nice of you guys. How about extra large beef bowl and some pork miso soup? Hey, hey, hey! Why don't you come with us, Michiru? Mm. Enjoying the return to track? Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's fun, but what do you mean? It's just what I like doing, you know? I get all down when I'm not running. So your legs fine? Um, do you like this reality? What? Do, do I like it? <laughs> what are you talking about? Well, I guess I do, did do a hell of a lot growing last year. For, for all that, I'd be a totally different person now. Wait, what? Something wrong here? How do we know each other, anyhow? First we met in front of the station by school, then... I'll be waiting for you, man. Huh? Uh, sure. It's now or never! Here it goes! Ah! That's a run he did. Whoa! What the hell was that? You okay, Sakamoto? Yeah, what happened to you guys at the station? Uh, nothing. See ya! Sorry, gotta get back to practice. See ya! Hmm. Well, seems all I can do now is wait. Ah. <sighs> guess I guess I should head home. Catchy? It's me. Yep. I've uncovered a few things in my investigation this week. Oh? So I thought I'd share my findings with you. Thank you, I'll share mine. By all means. First, regarding Maruki himself. He's been researching the treatment of patients through changes in their cognitions since his college years. Hmm. You already knew about that, correct? Yeah. He told me himself. Maruki's work apparently had enough investors that he was planning to break ground on a research facility somewhere. And as you know, those plans never came to fruition. His funding was cut off, and his research was ended for him. Yeah. Did something happen? It's probable. However, we can't be certain of the reason why. At least with our current understanding. What was the purpose of his research into cognitive science? Doesn't it feel like there's more to the story? Yeah, honestly. For example, 
Maybe his research was stymied by someone else for their own reasons. Anyway, that's all I could dig up about Maruki's history. The only thing that's become clearer is his stance on using cognitive science. He's dead serious about saving people. Mm -hmm. He distorted reality itself to make his dream come true. I can only imagine how delighted he is right now. Ah, that reminds me. There was one more thing I wanted to tell you. Yes. About the reality Maruki's put us in. It seems that Akumara and Wakaba are both considered alive by all accounts. Yeah. Wait, what do you mean? They aren't mere illusions or cognitive beings. They truly are alive and existing in this world. What? In fact, their deaths seem to have never taken place at all in this reality. <sighs> What happened to Shido? Shido was the only one arrested on the crime of attempting to overthrow the government. It seems the Phantom <coughs> Thieves were causing a stir in this society as well. But there's no record of your arrest now. Hmm. Basically, in this reality, you and I haven't committed any crimes. What? I don't understand how Maruki was able to distort reality to such extremes. But at the very least, he was being honest when he told us that he'd make such revisions, and rather convenient ones. What do you make of it, though? Remaining in this Maruki revised reality means living under his thumb forever. Mm -hmm. And I refuse to live like that. I'll be the one to choose my path. That's how I've lived up to now. And it's going to continue from here till the end. But what about you? You saw them for yourself, didn't you? Your friends seem to have taken a liking to Maruki's version of reality. Yeah. Don't tell me you've changed your mind after seeing them. <sighs> I'm struggling, honestly. Silence, huh? If you're going to run from this, please tell me as soon as possible. I don't want any unexpected complications popping up. That takes care of the info I wanted to share. See you soon. See you tomorrow. Are you going somewhere tomorrow? Odaiba, with Akechi. With Akechi? You guys are really hitting it off lately. Of course, that's not a bad thing. Mm. Hey, so about what you said before, you know, that stuff about my happiness? Yeah. Sorry, it's nothing. Good night. Sleep on Morgana. Tomorrow we meet with Maruki. I should go to bed early tonight. Would like to save your current progress? Yes. Yes, I would. I'm gonna save it here. Hmm. All right, let's go. So you came. I did. Based on the look in your eyes, I'm guessing your friends aren't going to be of any use to us. <sighs> I'm sure they'll come around, though. Oh, yes. Because I'm sure you're all just as close as you were before reality was changed. <sighs> well, there's no point in griping about it out here. Are you ready? As I mentioned yesterday, it's quite likely that we'll have to confront Maruki physically. Yeah. If you're not prepared for such a contingency, then please go and take care of your affairs as quickly as possible. I will. I'll just do that. So, here with Akechi, I'm going to end this episode here. Hopefully, next time, our friends will join us. But, if you have been enjoying these videos as much as I have, please leave a like, comment, and share them always helps out against that pesky YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to join the Moonlight Army today 
hit that bell icon to be notified when I upload a new video. If you guys want to stalk me on my social medias, the links will be in the description box below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. So, take care guys. Bye-bye.